Hello and welcome. This is Tube Mint. My name is Amulde, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress 5 on your Windows 10 computer laptop. So, this is latest release WordPress 5.0. To get it, you simply go to wordpress.org on your preferred browser, then click here Get WordPress. It was just released, I guess, uh, just a few days ago. And here we go. So, you simply have to click here download WordPress 5.0 and it will be downloaded. So, I already have downloaded it on here. I'm going to extract it. So after downloading WordPress 5, you simply have to extract it on your desktop or wherever you want it to be. So let it be extracted. In the meanwhile, we will do other stuffs here. So I do not need this WordPress.org um, page here. In case you want to read more about WordPress 5 and the changes, you simply go to blog and you can read the blog post, the recent one, or you can look up for WordPress 5. Say hello to the new editor. So this comes with Gutenberg editor and also comes with 2019 theme by default, which is compatible with Gutenberg. You can watch this little video and this is what you get in Gutenberg. A lot of new things, okay. Alrighty, so let's get started. As a server, I'm running XAMPP, you can see here. To get XAMPP, you can go to apachefrench.org. So, Apache, apachefrench.org. And you can download XAMPP for your operating system. So, this is available for Windows Windows operating system, Linux distros, and Mac OS X and above. So this is the Apache download page. You simply go to apachefrench.org. I will leave this link in the description as well. And once it's installed, you might be prompted for um, for this application, XAMPP application, or to run the services like. Apache and MySQL so you simply have to click allow allow and it will be Okay, once it's launched you simply have to run Apache and MySQL you simply click start on these two services Okay, once these two services are running you can close it and To get these services you simply go to localhost so localhost and press enter and you will be landing on this dashboard here okay we will need a server sorry a database so we will click on php my admin here and we will create a database let's go ahead and check if it's been extracted so this has been extracted i can go ahead and open this folder and I'm going to drag on the right. Alright. We will also need this Windows Explorer file and folder explorer. Here we go. Okay, I'll open a new one. So the file explorer. And here it is. Now you need to go to your C drive wherever your XAMPP and Windows operating system is installed and then look for XAMPP. In XAMPP you simply look for htdocs. In htdocs you simply have to create a new folder, name whatever you want it to be and then copy these files in folder and put it in the new folder. So simply go to this htdocs folder create a new folder 
and name it. So I'm going to name it WP5, something like that. Okay. And open it. Select all from this WordPress extracted folder. Copy it. Paste it here. Just control C and V. And it shouldn't take long time. Okay, here we go. Okay, in the meanwhile, we will go ahead and create a new database. So on PHP my admin page, click new and just give it a name. So WP5 and then hit create. Alrighty, it has been created now. You can see here as well. So everything been copied. Remember the folder name. You can name it whatever you want it to be. I'm going to close these folders now. And on a new page, on a new tab, you simply type localhost slash the name of the folder. So WP5 and then hit enter. So we already have created a database we already have a username which is root you don't have to create a username for it however you can create if you want to choose the language I'm going to select the English continue this requires database name username click let's go password as well so database is going to be Five username root. We do not have any password. Database host is localhost. We can change the prefix, but I leave it as it is. Click submit. Now run the installation. All right. Now little bit configuration for our site. So I'm going to say wp5 admin is okay I'm going to leave the username as admin but you are advised to change it then confirm the password this is for simplicity and oh sorry it's an email address I'm going to take this as my email address and install WordPress Search, uh, sorry, site title, username, password, and email address. That's all you need. You're, you also have to confirm the use of weak password in case you have chosen like me. Alrighty, so that's success message. Click login and go to login. You can see if I click here on PHP my admin database, these are the tables created when you install the WordPress all right so this is the WordPress 5 dashboard area if you're going to create a new post this will come up with Gutenberg editor so this is first Post. Okay, all these are blocks you can see. So this is what it is. We can also go ahead and Pick a featured image. Okay, let me quickly select one. There's a lot of images, few images here. So let's use this one. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and publish the post. It got published. Now let's go ahead and view the post. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you launch. This comes with 2019 theme. 
which is obviously okay let's go back and check the dub the themes and so let's go ahead and go to appearance and themes so this is 2019 that's it for this video thank you for watching this video if you like please like share and subscribe for my channel have a good day bye for now